Hello again YouTube, today I'm continuing my uh, lathe mission thing and uh, I've changed it a bit based on the feedback that you guys gave me so basically uh, you guys said that it would be nice if I used mods to make it a bit more interesting and um, you, well I've asked a couple of people anyway and basically you, it's probably better if I keep these videos edited and short-ish instead of making half an hour long videos and I think that's probably what I would have done anyway, um, but yeah. So the mods that I've decided to use are the Keythane mod and MechJeb. I'd already start, I'd already had MechJeb installed, but I installed Keythane as well. And the aim of this series has now become to fill up a tank of a big tank, which you can see I'm taking here. Uh, I fill up that big tank with Keythane from Lathe. So, and then take it back essentially as the mission but we're going to leave the space station out there we're going to do it quite nicely make sure everything's done and we're not just going to send out the mine for keythane in some random place and then come back we're going to make it so that it's essentially a renewable cycle so that potentially it could just be done over and over again um, and be constantly done if that makes sense uh, so first of all we're going to take um, this module up to the space station it also has some uh, some keythane tracking pieces, I forget what they're called, the satellites basically that uh, check where keythane is and uh, after this we're going to attach, well we're going to take up maybe uh, an SSTO to actually uh, well a single stage out of lathe orbit if that makes sense, so something that will be able to make it out of lathe orbit uh, in one stage which is easier to do than a curve in orbit SSTO and that's going to have to um, be able to drill on the surface and mine for keythane um, and then what we're going to do is essentially uh, mine enough keythane from lathe that way and bring it up to the space station and then eventually leave the space station out there bring that big tank back. Uh, so in this part as I said we're going to be taking that tank up there and I let MechJeb do most of this just because I need to be precise. I don't want to waste too much of the fuel that's on there on that I've taken with this which because I, ho I hopefully will be able to use this fuel to actually take it back uh, I'm not completely sure how much fuel it'll need to do that though, but I don't want to waste too much of this, uh, so I let MechJeb do most of it. Although I do the docking, uh, that is completely manual, because <laughs> I thought you guys would maybe get a bit annoyed if I just cheat and use MechJeb all the time. <laughs> Even though it's not really cheating, but it, it's yeah debatable. And I don't like using MechJeb all the time either, I only use it when it's necessary. Uh, one of the other really useful things that, about MechJeb is that you can just leave it doing a burn. So if you're maybe using like ion engines or something, which are incredibly uh, slow, then um, you know it's useful for that. But anyways, you'll see I undocked that little uh, thruster I had on the normal space station, the base of the space station, and uh, let that drift away, and pointed the space station north or the docking port that I'm going to dock with north so that I can dock onto it easily without it sort of turning as it goes around the planet. I know that wouldn't make that much of a difference, but you'd be surprised at how much easier it makes it. Because it means I can now just point south and then just use the I, J, K, L, H and N keys to actually move myself around on top of it and then just come straight down and, and dock. So it makes docking a lot easier if you do that. And I think I said that in my docking tutorial, but uh, I'm probably going to redo that tutorial sometime because you know, it's it's one of those things where I probably could have done it a bit better. I'm noticing that a lot with some of my older videos. I kind of think, oh, I could do that better now. Because I've gotten better at commentating and better at teaching since I started the channel. Uh, but anyway, you can see I've now got it pointing north and got it pointing south so that I'm ready to just use RCS and, the, as I said, the I, J, K and L keys to actually get... Um, to actually get a nice docking maneuver. So I do still have a couple of docking ports on there and I've got a docking port on the other end of this which will hopefully be used for some a fuel tank and a thruster to actually take us out to lathe um, and then the docking ports that are on the space station base maybe for something like um, well I suspect one will be for something that will um, like an SSTO which will probably take up the next episode and one will be for a, a crew module thing, which will let us take crew up and down. We may also actually not, you know, not just send an SSDO, but send a permanent base down, and essentially use that to 
conduct some tests on the surface, put some science modules down there. So that should be interesting, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and a favorite. That really helps me. If you have any suggestions or questions, then leave a comment down below. And uh, as I said, thanks for watching and have a nice day.